Pretty much every signal that we'll study uh, in, in this course, and certainly uh, in computer science by and large, or computer uh, electrical engineering for that matter, um, is going to be a sinusoidal signal. And so I want to talk a little bit about what a sinusoid looks like. So here I'm showing the signal uh, y, which is this value over here, that's y, uh, cos 2 pi t by t. So it's cos 2 pi and small t over capital T. So capital T is the period. So you can see that the signal, which is a sort of this U-shaped thing, repeats itself um, every time period, capital T, so it's 3t, 4t, etc. And at zero, you have cos zero, which is one. So cos zero equals one. And at time t, it's going to be uh, cos t is also equal to one. So we want to arrange things so that this function, the cos is, uh, of that uh, value over here is going to be one. So we want this angle to be two pi. And so if we set small t, which is this axis over here, uh, to be equal to uh, uh, cos 2 pi t by t, then when small t reaches capital T, then that just becomes 2 pi. When it becomes uh, 2t, it becomes twice 2 pi, which is 4 pi, which is a multiple of 2 pi. And so, of course, we get 1 again. So essentially, by choosing this function, y equals cos uh, 2 pi t by t, as I've shown over here, uh, then we are going to get just what we need, which is a sinusoid, which has a period of capital T, and which has initial value of uh, 1, and which goes down to 0 at pi by 2, and then it's going to be minus 1 at pi, and then goes to 0 again at uh, uh, 3 pi by 4, and then it goes to uh, sorry, this is 3 pi by 2, and it goes to 1 again at 2 pi. So that's your sinusoid. It's a bit confusing that we are going to call uh, something that's cosine a sinusoid, but well, anyway. Uh, the reason why it's important is because uh, we can represent all sorts of signals as a sinusoid, and we'll study how that's done a little bit later.